Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? It's actually nighttime. I'm having a glass of wine. <laughs> um, it's just the best time for me to film right now. So, um, if you guys watched my shot my stash, the last one I just did, I told you guys I was gonna be do be doing two get ready with me's. One I already done. I will link that down below if you haven't seen it. It is a full face get ready with me using only drugstore Milani products, which I absolutely love Milani. Um, so like I said, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you guys. And I also told you guys I was going to do all Fenty. So I have a lot of Fenty products. We're going to use those today. So today is just going to be a fun little chatty get ready with me using only a full face of Fenty. So excited. Um, and then the next shot my sash, I asked you guys, what are some of the brands you would like to see me pull for that week? I think I'm not, that's going to be my new thing every week until I get bored, of course. We're just going to pull one brand um, for the next couple of weeks. And you guys, I got some good ideas from you guys. Uh, we got some high end. I'm thinking maybe Pat McGrath. Um, we got some Color Pop. We got Huda Beauty, uh, Cover Girl. I'm trying to think of some of the brands that kind of stood out to me. I think those are the main ones that stood out to me. So, like I said, Color Pop, Cover Girl, so some drugstore, and then some high end like Huda Beauty, which uh, is like one of my favorite brands. You guys know that. And then a very expensive brand, um, which is Pat McGrath. And I haven't placed that order yet, but Pat McGrath has been on my radar for a while and I'm really thinking about ordering from each of her category and I thought that would be like an amazing get ready with me using only Pat McGrath products as far as foundation, concealer, powder, uh, eyeshadow palette, um, her lip products. So I really, really want to do that. So you guys let me know. I'm probably going to put, put a poll up on Instagram and YouTube and kind of see what y'all want me to pull before Saturday. So be look be looking for that um poll if you wanna if you wanna let me know. Um so let's just get started with today's get ready with me. Like I said, I got my wand here, you guys. Um if you're watching this at night, then by all means uh get you a glass of wine as well. So here is the Fenty bottle of foundation. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I got it upside down. Looks like this. And it's really cool because it has a pump, which is awesome. So this is the, what is this called? This one is called the Pro Filter. So basically this one is going to give you a very glow, um, a beautiful glow, like almost a natural glow, but it's going to have a good, good coverage. Um, so I really, really did like this foundation when I tried it. I think I even did a... Um, like a first impressions where I wore it for a certain amount of hours. I'll try to find that video and link it down below if you haven't seen it. So I did wear it for like a really long time and it like, it wore beautifully on my skin. So, um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you guys. But I'm trying to figure out which shade I'm in. So I'm in the shade 130, 130. It's on the back right there. I don't know if it's going to focus. But 130 is the shade. So we're just going to give two pumps. Like I said, it's very liquidy. It is a very glowy foundation. And the color I got is a little bit on the yellow side, if I'm honest. But I can make it work. Um, and I did get a new sponge. This is the e.l.f. concealer sponge. I didn't wet it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to see if I like it with this. I might have to switch <laughs> sponges, but we're just gonna go with it and see um, what this looks like. So I haven't used this foundation in a hot minute, so we're, I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I don't like I don't really like this sponge for foundation. It it is really it's a concealer sponge, but. I just thought I would try it since I already had it up here. Um, hmm. 
And like I said, it is a little yellow, but I can bring it down my neck. And when I bronze, it's not going to be as yellow. Um, so, I think I'm going to pin my hair back with a little hair clip like I normally do. And I'm going to get me another sponge because that one's not big enough for me. So, I went ahead and got this, um really soft fluffy sponge that I love that Tiffany Dawn sent me it was like a dollar something and I went ahead and blended that um I just did one like one layer and you guys it really covered up that like sunspot that not a really it's not a sunspot it is like a sunburn that won't go away and it's like this red spot on my forehead I've had it for weeks um, so I always have to put concealer on it, but it actually covered it with just the foundation, but I do want to put a little bit more foundation on, I think. Um, so just a little bit more, but like I said, this is very glowy, a very glowy. So if you have dry skin, normal skin, combo skin, I think you'll like it. I think if you have oily skin, you're not going to like this probably. Um, but definitely combo normal to dry girls are gonna really like it um i personally i don't think it's overly glowy and i have worn it like all day long before this craziness happened when i was like really really busy and never at home and i have worn it like all day long and it's just lasted it, and it's just like a beautiful glow to your skin um but it covers that's what like you usually don't get with a glowy foundation. Number one, it usually doesn't last a long time. This foundation lasts a very long time. Number two, you if you get glow, you don't usually get coverage. And this honestly covers pretty much anything. So I like the coverage. I love I love the longevity of this foundation. But it's just it gives me a very beautiful glow. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, when we come back, we're going to do the Fenty Cream Bronzer, and we're going to contour before I do the powder. Uh, we might do the blush before I do the powder as well, because I only have a cream blush and a cream bronzer slash contour, um, so I kind of want to use those products before I put the uh, powder and the um, highlight and stuff like that on, the eyeshadow, so let's go ahead and do the cream before the powder, but I'm going to go off camera. Let's go ahead and... Do the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I'm in 03. Is that upside down? No. So I'm in this color, 03. And looks like this. Pretty it looks pretty dark, but um, I wasn't sure what color to get. So I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna try to contour with this Becca brush in. I have a pretty good like indent in my cheeks where I don't even have to do that like fish face like I don't even have to do that because I can kind of see where my cheekbones are which is kind of weird but um so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and just contour with it so like I said I'm gonna contour my whole one I'm gonna do my nose contour like I normally do under the chin, not under under the neck, my neck chub. You guys know how I feel about my neck chub. So we're gonna contour that, and then I don't have a powder, a Fenty powder bronzer anymore. Like I said, I used to, but I don't anymore. Um, but I do have like a shimmer bronzy stick. I might try to use that. We'll see how that goes. Look at that. Okay, that's what it looks like. We're going to do this side. This is Raw Techniques. So I'm just going to take and line. Straight line on that side.
Okay, so contour my nose. And then I'm going to bring it across the tip of my nose. To kind of shorten it a little bit. And you can blend this out. This is cream. So you can blend this out on the side. And when you put powder, it's going to like help blend in as well. And then also what I like to do is add a little pout to my bottom lip. So I'm going to contour the bottom lip. You guys can see. <laughs> Again, when I add powder, it's going to kind of blend all the harsh lines that you see. Okay, contour the nose, contour the cheeks, contour the lip. We're going to contour the neck job. This one doesn't blend very good under here, so I think I'm going to use this little brush right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit and go up under the neck with it. The contour. Everything looks contoured and beautiful. Alright, so I think, like I said, I want to try this. I don't know how this is going to go. But this right here is like a little fancy stick. I think it's in cinnamon. I was trying to find the color of the, the other day and I couldn't find out what it was. But I'm pretty sure it's cinnamon. And it's not, it's definitely not a really good shade for me. But it's very bronzy as you can see. So I feel like this might be a good like all over the face kind of shade. Or even a cheek shade. So I might like top off the, like use this as a bronzer. And kind of go a little bit above the contour with this and maybe over the forehead not not get too crazy with it but since it is a shimmer stick i feel like that might work so i think i'm gonna try that and see how that goes so let's let's draw a line where i want this you guys i've never tried this before so i'm a little scared so i'm just gonna put this like where i would put bronzer and again, even if I make a mistake with this thing, because I've never done this before, even if I make a mistake with this thing, I'm I'm just I'm gonna blend all of it out with powder, so we're we're good. All this is cream, so we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna see if this big fluffy brush by Sephora is gonna blend it out. It might not. It might be too soft. I feel like it might be too soft, but we're gonna try. Yeah, I feel like this one is too soft for blending. Alright, so we're going to go back to this brush. I just love this brush for cream. So, I'm just going to take it and blend this blush out. Not blush, but the cream Fenty Stick in Cinnamon. And that's going to be like my glowy bronzer. If you guys are seeing that, it just gives my skin kind of a glow put a little bit on my chin a little bit on my nose it's just going to give my bronzer a glow and it's just not like super matte okay i actually like that a lot okay so now we're going to do the cream blush which i'm a little nervous about again i'm in the color um bikini martini which is this bright pink color which i'm not scared of the color it's just I don't like the way, I don't like the application of this. Um, I try to sponge, I try to brush, I just can't, I can't figure it out. Um, I think I need a certain brush maybe and it would work. Maybe I should try this brush right here. I don't know. That's the color. I'm going to apply it with my finger and see how maybe that will work better. Again. If I make a mistake, we haven't done our powder yet, so I'm not too, too worried about it. The way I like to apply my blush, same as if I was a, applying a cream or a powder, I like to start with the apples of my cheeks, and I like to kind of go up a little bit with the blush. So start on the apples, and then go up. 
so it gives your cheeks a little bit of lift um, again this is a very bright color but it's cream so you can blend it blend it out plus you're going to be using powder so it's not going to be too crazy all right so that then i'm going to blend it upwards like that So we have all the cream products on our face. Okay, so now we're gonna do powder. So now we're gonna do Fenty powder. And I'm in the color Butter. And I will warn you that I think this got like knocked down or something because it is a mess in here. I feel like all these types of containers, I, I just, I don't like them because if they don't have a sifter in there, they're so messy. And this one is no exception. It's just, it's so messy. So, I'm just going to have to be super careful with it. And powder my face. Like I said, this is in the color butter, so it's a little bit on the yellow side. They do make one for really fair skin, and it's called lavender. So, if you have fair skin, you might want to try the lavender one. Um, but we're going to do butter. And I'm going to get my powder brush. Let's see. Let's use this one right here. Old Faithful. So, I'm just going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm just going to put it on my face. And I think I'm going to use a sponge as well. I'm gonna go up under my eyes on my lids forehead okay and I'm gonna go a little bit over the powder just to set it because you know I don't want my cheeks and my bronzer and my contour to go anywhere I'm gonna use this wet sponge and I'm going to like sharpen up my contour a little bit because I kind of like that look. I know it's not like an everyday look, but every now and then I do like to do that. So I'll just take it and go up under my contour. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. And then if you round it off a little bit so it's not so sharp around the cheeks, it looks more natural. And we're done. But you see I still have that sharp contour. You can still see all my blush, my contour. Honestly, I think my makeup looks really, really nice right now. So, a little shout out to myself. I like the way it looks. Did the brows. I know they always look a little funny at first, you guys. But, it's all part of the process, okay? I don't have a lot of color in my brows. So, my natural hair color is pretty dark. So, to me, like, this is my natural hair color, guys. If you can see this dark, that's my natural hair color. So, for me, I don't feel like it's too dark. But, I'm sure that when you first see it, it's like, whoa. That girl's got some, some dark eyebrows. But, trust me, it's fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm pulling out this gorgeous palette that Tiffany Dawn sent me. And, I was debating on the colors. But, I think I know what I'm going to do. You guys know my new trick. My new tip for a fast and easy eye look and if you don't know and you haven't seen my tip I'll show you guys what I do so if you're in a hurry you're getting ready you have to you still go to work whatever you have to do and you want to look pulled together I will give you a very fast eye look like that and you're gonna still look good you're, trust me you're still gonna look good so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick out whatever shimmer you want to put and you're gonna use your finger 
and you're just going to tap that on the lid. Trust me, it's part of the process. So you're going to start with a shimmer and you're going to start with a lid, not crease. Start with a shimmer and start with a lid. Trust me on this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, go, go for this like, um, I'll just swatch it and show you guys. It's like this bronzy color. I think I'm going to go for that. So basically it's kind of like a yeah the best way I can say it is an all not olive but just bronze it's a bronze shimmer so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat that all over my lid don't be shy I'm just gonna pat it on your lid and I am gonna take a brush spray it and get into the parts that I need to be a little more detailed out in the like inner and outer corner part um so that's kind of like my new trick to a fast easy eye makeup look um so now i'm gonna get like a flat brush any flat brush will do um i'm gonna spray it you can spray it. you can even spray it with water if you want if you don't want to waste your facial sprays and then i'm gonna dip into that shimmer again Okay, and we're just going to go, let me see, I need a mirror. Hold on, let me get this little bitty mirror right here. We're just going to go in with that shimmer, and we're just going to go all the way over the lid with the parts that I missed with my finger. Okay, and that's all we're going to do at first. Trust me on this, okay? Now we're going to go to the other eye. I think I'm going to use my highlight that I was going to use. So, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take my little fancy highlight in Sandcastle. And just to brighten up the inner corner, because that was a very dark color. I'm just going to get some. And we're going to tap it. And kind of blend it. to lighten it up a little bit so you're not going to take it all the way on your lid just the inner corner and then blend it just kind of blend it out a little bit like that if you can see that do that on the other side take it inner corner and just blend it I'm just lightening that really really dark color okay go back over here again and we'll put a little bit more in the inner corner part i'm just gonna tap it on the inner corner tap 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 and that's what it looks like so far now okay what you would probably normally do at the beginning we're gonna do now so we're gonna take a crease brush and we're gonna go in with just the lightest crease color I can find which I feel like is that one right there and we're just gonna go in there and just blend in the crease and make sure there's no harsh crazy lines I'm gonna take this fluffy brush right here and we'll dust it off and we're just gonna go and blend this out just so there's no harsh lines so basically what I just did was everything you've ever learned about eyeshadow backwards. Um, and that's my new little pro tip. I know some people are doing like their foundation and um, all that stuff backwards. And I was like, you know what? I bet you could do an eyeshadow look backwards as well. And I was right. So it totally works. So that's my new thing, you guys the eyeshadow look you can totally make that work for you just make sure you blend so there's no harsh lines whatsoever like that do you see how well that's blended all right so i'm going to just clean up it's going to clean up the sponge Now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to use the mascara. This is the Fenty Mascara. It has like this really pretty rose gold. 
Um, the brush is very strange on here. It's like a paddle brush. It's like super flat. If you can say that. So that is the side angle. And that is the front angle. So it's just, it's very oddly shaped. Um, and I find it kind of hard to apply if I'm not, you know, lying. So personally for me, I would say the Fenty Mascara is not my favorite. But I do get a sample. Um, I do like to try sample mascaras that way. You know, if you're trying out a high-end mascara, you're not paying 20-something dollars for it. Or even 30-something dollars for it. Um, so far, like right now, it's definitely not my favorite mascara. I know a lot of you guys said you haven't tried the Fenty Lant. Plan. Uh, line. But, um, you guys know, like, I'm a big, big Fenty believer. I love me some Fenty. But I will be honest when I don't like a Fenty product. Like, don't care for the mascara. Don't care for the cream blushes. Um, everything else I really honestly, truly enjoy. Alright, so, those are my eyes. I wanted, like, a pretty everyday wear, like, really wearable look. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go off camera, put lashes on, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just put on some lashes. I didn't have any Fenty lashes. I don't even know if they make lashes. I put on a lip liner. I don't own a Fenty lip liner. So I just put on a random lip liner, random lashes. Um, now we're going to do our highlight, and I'm, I'm going to do two lip colors. Because I also have the... Um, what is this called? Like the glass bomb. And this one is in Sweet Mouth. I believe that's what it, the color is. It's like my favorite lip gloss of life. And I haven't decided which coral I'm going to use. But I'm thinking about putting a coral and then putting this really pretty pink in the center of it. That is kind of my thoughts. So I'm just going to wet my one of my brushes and we're going to go ahead and do our highlight. And we're going to do lips last. So, for highlight, I am going to be using this little mini right here. And this one is in Sandcastle. I did use that on my inner corner. Um, on my inner corner and on my lid a little bit. But, I'm going to take the pointy part of this. Okay, guys. I just... <laughs> did you see that? I thought it was pointed that way. It was pointed this way. That was an epic... I don't think I've ever done that in my life. I'm going to have to leave that in because that is totally embarrassing and stupid. Okay. Make sure that the sprayer is away from your face. Okay. Now, that was an epic fail. All right. So, we're going to take the highlight. I'm just going to dip my little skinny brush. Again, I'm going to go... Um, let me turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go back in the inner corner with, with it wet. Just to give it a little pop, like that. We're also going to go down the bridge of my nose for a little, a little contour and highlight look, like that. I love doing that, and then you just blend it out with your finger. Then also, I'm going to take some on my finger and do the tip of my nose, which is, this highlight's insane, so I'm going to have to blend it out. A little bit because it is on the side and then for lips I like to kind of go above my cupid's bow and then like down like that if that makes any sense I used to not do this but I've been doing this a lot in my videos and I just like the way my highlight looks so we're doing it it just gives my skin a uh, really pretty glow you could go up under as well, up under your brow bone. If you want an intense highlight. Go on this side. That's okay, and now we're gonna do the cheeks. So basically 
I'm going to take this brush, hopefully not spray myself in the face, and like that. And I'm going to put some on my brush. Usually I like to do my highlight with my finger, to be honest with you. It's like my favorite way, but I am going to do it this way today. So there's the highlight, pretty intense. This is definitely a nighttime highlight because you are like bling blinging, okay? All right, so now, let's see. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna take my powder brush and just go over it a little bit. My nose is like a little crazy. And I like to blend, usually like to blend out a little bit um, I mean, I want the contour, I mean the highlight, but I don't want it too, too crazy. So, blend that out just a tiny bit. I'm trying to decide if I want to do just the gloss. Or if I want to add a lip color. I don't know. I might add this lip color right here. This is not one of the lip stunners, but this is the, I think they're called the Mademoiselle Mattes or something like that. And it's just a really beautiful matte lip. This is on the like coral red side. But I want to use this gorgeous um, pinky lip gloss because this stuff is gorgeous. Um, I'll, sh I'll do a little swatch on the back of my hand to show you guys. It's like super thick. It is sticky, I will be honest with you, but I love it. Because I feel like even if it's sticky, it's going to like, it's going to last. And it smells, mm, it smells like candy. It's sticky like candy. And it's just really pretty. So, I'm just going to kind of. Put it on the center part of my lip to kind of just make it a little sexy. Like that. I just, I need, I need some more. I need some more blush on my face. Okay, I like blush. So we're going to put a little bit more. Even though this is kind of like not the shade I would um, pair with this lip color. But, you know, it's fine. Okay, now I'm finished. Alright, so if you guys liked this, I feel like I'm going to get it on my teeth. If you guys like this Fenty full, full face makeup look, let me know what your favorite standout product is. Um, is there any Fenty product that you're thinking about picking up? Um, and if you have Fenty, let me know what your favorite is. Um, and my least favorite, I will definitely let you guys know, like I said, I would not recommend the blush, the cream blushes. Don't like this. Don't like the mascara wherever I put it. Wouldn't recommend mascara at all. But um, some of my favorite Fenty products, definitely the powder, definitely the foundation, definitely the highlight. Love the highlighters. I love all the lipsticks. You guys know, like, Fenty makes the best uh, lip gloss and lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. I love all these products. They're amazing. The eyeshadow palette is great. So, any of those products, I would highly, highly recommend. Like I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to start doing full face of makeups every time I do my shot mustache. So, if you guys are interested, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you're interested in my content. Okay. <laughs> Had lipstick on my teeth and let me know in the comments what um brand you want to see next because like i said i'm gonna do paul in my next shot mustache i want to know what you guys want to see so love you guys hope you enjoyed this fenty full face of makeup and i'll see you next time bye